Hi, and thank you for joining Stamp with Lisa Brown. Today we are featuring the stamp set Enjoy Life, and we will be recreating this card. I featured this card on my blog a couple of weeks ago, and someone has asked me to create a video explaining how I made the card with the watercolor wash. I will put a link underneath the video to my blog, and it will give you all of the dimensions for the cardstock that I used, and it will also give you all of the color reinkers that I used to create the watercolor background. So for this card, the top piece of paper is a piece of shimmer white. And we are going to be using our aqua painters. You get two aqua painters in a set. And you have a thicker bristle and a smaller bristle. So we are going to use the thicker bristle because you can cover more area on your cardstock. What I did was I took some old embellishment containers and I put a couple of drops of reinker in. The color reinkers that I used was Blackberry Bliss, Rich Razzleberry, Melon Mambo, and Blushing Bride. Also, on my table, I have them going from dark to light. I personally went dark to light. Uh, most people would probably think you would go light to dark when doing the watercolor wash. Um, it's a personal preference. There is no real right or wrong way. So what you do is you take your aqua painter with the water in it. And I'm going to squeeze some water in here and I'm going to pick up some color. And all I'm going to do is simply wash it across my shimmer white paper. Making sure that it's covered. The more water that you squeeze out, the lighter the color will be. Always have a paper towel next to you. I'm going to wipe off the majority of the Blackberry Bliss, and I'm going to go into my Rich Razzleberry. Again, I'm going to put a couple of drops of water, mix it up, pick up some color, and then I'm just going to overlap and simply just wash it up. Add a little bit more water so that it lightens up a little bit. Take your paper towel and you can sop up the extra water and you'll see that it removed quite a bit of color so I can always go back and grab more and add more color to it. Clean my brush, go into my Melon Mambo, squeeze some water, mix it up and just go straight to the card and just do a wash. I'm going to take my paper towel and pat off some of that. Okay. In my bristle, go into my blushing bride and do my blushing bride. Very quick, very simple, very easy. That's all that's to it. You can create a lot of these cards very quickly. And as you see, this is literally two uh, drops of reinker. So there's quite a bit of ink in there. The blushing bride didn't go as far but you can just add more to it. Same with the Melon Mambo. If you notice that my paper is curling, if you take your heat tool with it to it to your paper, it'll start flattening out. But also remember, take your heat tool to the back side of it as well. Just keep going back and forth so that you're not listening to my heat tool in the video and for time. I previously did one. So you can you can see that there's a little bit of curl, but it's not it'll stick down just fine on, on your cardstock. Okay, let me get these out of the way. Grab my memento ink pad. And we are going to put our line of grass down at the bottom of the card first. Okay. 
Oh, and I'm not using my mat. Let me get a piece of scrap paper. There we go. I'm going to stamp over this again because it did not stamp well. Okay. Next, I'm going to add the little bit of uh, shrubbery. Okay. Just want a little bit more right here. Okay. Add in my butterflies. So I really, really like this card. And I think the best part of it is that you can really make this any color. I think those would look great in purples and blues, even greens. Um, you can change up your colors to however you like it. And put our sentiment on. I do have a little bit of curl. I'm just going to fold my paper back a little bit. Just rub it a little bit. And yeah. just like so. Okay. And then I have my Melon Mambo cardstock. Take my snail adhesive. I am going to put a little extra snail just because the paper is slightly curled. Take my card base. And there you have it. If you want to add an inside, I pre-stamped this earlier. And you can have a cute little inside carrying the theme on the inside. So I hope you liked this quick, easy, and simple color wash technique. And visit my blog, creativecardcloset.com. And if you would like any of these products, Go ahead and shop at stampwithlisabrown.stampinup.net. Have a good day.